3 project, Mike Davis. Mike, good to have you with us. So uh, this, this is being talked about. There are rumblings. Is there a way that Barack Obama could end up back in the Oval Office? Uh, yeah, and I think this uh, says, uh, what it says about Joe Biden is when they're going to desperate measures like this on the Democrat side, it, it shows you how bad Biden is, how mentally incompetent he is and how he's not up to the job. And that is terrifying for this country. Are, are you hearing the same things that, that I am? That I mean, it's pretty much an, an open secret now that Biden doesn't even know some of his closest aides, and he has to actually be reminded of their names. Well, I mean, that shouldn't surprise anyone. This is the this is look. He's gotten much worse since he's gone into the White House, but he he was in bad shape even before he became the president. Remember, they had they they ran the basement campaign for Joe Biden. He couldn't fill his COVID circles. They ran the basement campaign because they knew if yeah. they put Joe Biden out there uh, for, for the for the public to scrutinize, he would not have been elected. So there are, there are a lot of similarities that people are making here uh, between the Bidens and the Roosevelts, Eleanor stepping in uh, in the final years of FDR's uh, reign. And then, of course, you have Edith Wilson going all the way back to the days of President Woodrow Wilson and the stroke that, that he suffered. Do you believe that Joe Biden is, is really running the show there at the White House? I think that she's running the show for Joe but who's really running the show is Barack Obama. This is Barack Obama's third term. Barack Obama kept his house in Washington, D.C., and his top aides are now Biden's top aides. For example, Susan Rice, along with Lisa Monaco, the deputy attorney general. Uh, you have key Obama people running the Biden administration. I think it, it's, it's obvious that it's President Obama's third term. So how does this all play out here and what should we be looking forward to? Because again, the, the time limit, there's not a lot of time here. Um, how do you see all of this playing out possibly? I think the Democrats are stuck with Joe Biden uh, legally, politically, and financially. Legally, we're getting past the deadlines to put someone else on the ballot. Financially, he has like $200 million that he can't just hand over to anyone other than Kamala Harris. And then politically, what's he going to do? He's going to skip over the first black and first female vice president and put in someone else. That's just not going to fly. I think they're stuck with Joe Biden, and, and they probably figure that if it's Joe Biden versus Trump or Kamala Harris versus Trump, at least Joe Biden has a fighting chance and Kamala wow. Harris does not. Do, do you see that it might be feasible that, that Barack Obama could end up on that ticket in some capacity? Man, that would be that would uh, that I think would I think that would very much go against the intent of the constitutional amendment to limit the president to two terms and ten years total if he become if the vice president becomes president. So uh, that, that it shows desperation on the Democrats' part if they have to go to such a desperate measure to try to sal salvage this election. Mike, one more quick question here. There's been a lot of talk uh, among Republicans of holding Kamala Harris accountable, accusing her of being complicit in this cover-up of Biden's health. Uh, is she at risk from a legal standpoint? Could she be impeached? She can certainly be impeached, uh, but you know, I, I, from from a Republican political perspective, I think we want to keep Kamala Harris on that ticket to remind people every day that Joe Biden is not up to the job. There's no chance in hell he would be able to finish his second term if he's reelected. And then if that happens, we're, we have President Kamala Harris. All right. Well, Mike Davis, I uh, got to leave it there. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you. All right. Coming up.